Hello, we're doing the shower head. We ordered this on Amazon. It has 34,000 reviews, four and a half stars. I will link it if we end up thinking that it's successful. I hate our shower head so much. It is so dinky. The water spray is like a drizzle. I just despise it. Washing my hair is like, it takes forever. I hate it. This is supposed to be uh, the ultimate shower. The ultimate shower experience, right? It's supposed to be like a forceful shower head. Sean said, I watched YouTube videos and did his research because I've been complaining about the shower head. Anyway, we're going to change it. All right, in the package, you got, I don't know, stop, read instructions. Well, you know. Somebody know instructions, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm going to read the instructions. Sean trying to rush because he got a call. <laughs> Look at that shower head. Shower dirty. Stupid. Hate it. Now, what's Say it'll wake me up in the middle of the night like, I hate our shower head. <laughs> All right. Dang it. No, it's still not great. Oh, that's the thing then, huh? What's so he was not impressed. I'll tell you what it's good. That's better. Let me stick my hand in there. Oh yeah. Also, the pipe does this noise. For like five seconds. That was life changing. I, there are several things that I dislike. First of all, I love that we have our own little bathroom. It's great. Um, there are several things that I really don't like about the bathroom. These hooks are the cheapest. There's a matching toilet paper roll thing. If you pull it too hard, it comes off the wall. Like, it's a cheaply done bathroom. It's a rental bathroom, I completely understand that. Um, and we intend, I intend <laughs> to change those things to things that make me happier. But that shower head, <sighs> that shower head just made living with the things in here that I don't like that much easier. Links below in the description. If you're in a rental, if you own and you think that your shower head is just like, why am I not, you know, beat me up a little bit shower head, this shower head. And it was only $35. Like $35 to change the way you feel in your shower is, <sighs> but you are in front of the camera. I hate this cabinet. Um, you can't see the cabinet. Okay, well, let's like switch, places, about it. switch places then. I hate this cabinet. I don't mind it. It's stupid. You ain't even put nothing inside. My contacts is up there. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're using it, just That's throwing the contacts in it's there. It's useful. No. It's got to come down. Literally all my things is right here. Those are not all of your things. That's all everything that I use. I don't use anything else. That's not true. So see, there's another. That's addition. not true. Uh, silly inconvenience to me. <laughs> it's like this is might be apartment updates part. You're creating editing work. Seven. You're creating editing work for yourself because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But this is silly inconveniencing, Sean. We're part taking. 85. We're taking this down, and in the meantime, we're gonna put up a shelf. A, a picture ledge and then eventually wait a picture ledge ain't even flat so i can't even put it my is stuff. flat yes it is it got a little dip in there so that a ledge all right we're gonna see and then when we come back and do the whole bathroom i have wallpaper samples on the way just don't know when we're actually going to get to that we'll replace the picture ledge but i can't you're only touching my stuff well, you know what? There's no room for my stuff because you've put all your stuff there. If you open up the cabinet. There's not. No. Just no. There's, all there's no space. shelf. There's it nothing. Literally, there's literally just, just this. And you got your contacts. Oh, no. You done dropped it on the floor. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll do some sanding. Lift up. 
How was I supposed to know that? Go say it, go. How was I supposed to know that? It's Damn. just the paint. Yeah, this is like car. This is the drywall. The drywall. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we can fix that. Can we? We can. What? How? What? How? <laughs> so we did this, Home Depot employee. <laughs> Tell us what to do. <laughs> so now we went from ugly to uglier. <laughs> okay, so a couple YouTube videos and a trip to Home Depot later. I'm pretty confident I know how to fix this. Palette knife. Video said that you want to scratch any excess off so that when you go to seal it all of the edges are flush like it could go on for a little while so because it's not just a drywall paper it's the paint that's peeling off so I'm gonna call that good and what the video told us to do was seal it with a shellac based primer so this is the Zinzer bin shellac base interior and spot exterior primer to seal the paper so that when you go to add moisture from your latex uh, or water-based materials, it doesn't cause the paper to bubble. Okay? Okay, so here we go. Dude did say it was very watery. Whoa. Damn. You don't need anywhere near as much as I poured. Yeah. So after, so once this dries. Oh, you about a mansplain it to me? Yeah. I just answered the question, bro. Well, it's woman's plane. You then use um, joint compound and do a skim coat. You don't know what none of that is. I just learned you something. You even need the reason we in this. Because <laughs> I was perfectly fine with my contacts being in the show. It was enough. Gotta spend in $75 on. It was not $75. How much was it? It was maybe 60 So while we wait for the shellac paint to dry, we have an unboxing. One that I am very excited about. Since moving into this apartment, I have said to Sean, we need a robot vacuum because there are so there's so much floor and there's so much dust and like it's the 21st century. We need a robot. So this is the Yeedy Mop Station Pro, which is a robot vacuum and mop that was kindly sent to us by the good folks over at Yeedy. And so let's open it up. And see what it's hitting for. Yeedy. 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 Oh, this thing is a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Oh, that's the top. Don't care from the bottom like that. I'm gonna fall out. Foam down here, like this is this is obviously a quality product that they care about, which is a good first impression. Well, does it say plug it up? Yeah, plug it up. 
Back in the bathroom, 30 minutes, 45 minutes later. <clears throat> 45 minutes later, I've got joint compound, which apparently is different from spackle. That's, I asked the nice lady at Home Depot, and she was like, oh yeah, no. I showed her a picture, she said, you want joint compound. So the video said uh, that we wanted to leave a little bit of extra so that when we uh, sand it, we only have to do one coat of this. I've never, I mean, we've done. You don't got the thing where you would be slapping. I know, I was gonna buy that, and then I was like, but why, how is that different from this? Is that anything gonna fit in there? Does it dry white? Yeah. Why can't it dry black, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> doing a good job, it look like. It does look like I'm doing a good job, though. I like it. filling it in. Evenly, except for what you just did. Just did. <laughs> People always mess up when you call them out. On it. I can build a house. No, you can't. I mean, with the right set of YouTube videos, I can. As soon as they decide, as soon as they tell you to start measuring things. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't, <laughs> I can't measure nothing. I can't measure nothing. Or you gotta, you gotta. No, don't, don't touch it. Then you always it. tell me to touch it. I know, but sometimes don't touch it. <laughs> How am I supposed to know where sometime is? Right now. Okay. So, I don't know if it was the humidity. It is very humid. You didn't let the other layer dry. I did let the other layer dry. Let it, go overnight, bro. it. I read the can and it said 45 minutes. Whatever. So this is what happened to the joint compound. Sean sent me a text last night and said it looks like what you say it look like? Two face. Face off? Sean? What? Where did you go? Oh, anyway, I'm about to start sanding. You're gonna be stubborn for years. I feel like maybe I should start with a rougher one. Yeah, you should get the rougher one. I definitely just got my nails done. <laughs> and now I'm sanding. But I'm holding it very, you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, so I got the smaller ones are fine. There's a couple spots on the bigger patch that because of the drip, I think it didn't get filled in. So I'm going to put a little bit more joint compound on it a little bit. Let it set, sand it again. And then Sean and I were discussing what do we do? I think I'm going to wipe the wall down after it's done. Maybe wipe the wall down and just put some white paint that we have just over it so it's not just um naked joint compound exposed while we like live in the bathroom until i'm ready to like do the bathroom so <clears throat> fill it again sand it again fill it let it dry sand it again and then i'm just gonna put some white paint up there to seal it all in can you see like that's obviously filled in except for this one little one little divot and it's the same up here oh you, you can see it it's like one little divot why wouldn't that be filled in any of my um drywallers watching let me know why that is um so it's not exactly 100 percent smooth uh, i'm not an actual professional this is kind of my first time with the patch that big when we eventually put wallpaper over it because that's my plan uh, it'll be fine and I plan to put shelves in that space and eventually the owners of the apartment will probably when we leave put that cabinet back up so I think it's okay that it's not 100% smooth as if a professional did it I have some leftover paint from the paint we were using in the living room uh, and I'm just gonna slap that up there just again so that it's not um, just joint compound loose. The 
this the dip that I was talking but about. But look how much flat space there is, and this dip is not gonna stop none of your stuff from sitting on it here. Could, it, it could. It could not. Look at look at look at this paint job I had to walk into yesterday. First of all, that's a solid rectangle. What? First, I mean, what you want me to do? Draw lines and pull out a paintbrush and like make it a rectangle? No. Yes. No. It's not. It's not a professional patch, but it's it's, not a it's solid. It's solid. Now we're gonna put up the shelf. Tell him. Tell him, Sean. No. Screw bits right in the bag with all the other tools, and he said, "I looked in there. I just didn't see them." I didn't look anywhere. Oh yeah. <sighs> then I was gonna say, "Yo, pencil lead don't need to be that long." Shut up. <laughs> to me and hit the reverse on the drill. I've been doing that. I do it, I do it all the time. <laughs> I've been doing it from the beginning. Uh -huh. I could build a house. <laughs> because I'm smart. <laughs> they ain't even color match these. <laughs> so here's a couple stickers, bro. There. You know the people that be hanging TVs and they be hanging from it? Did I ever do that? No. <laughs> Okay, here's my little completed shelf with our potions and lotions. And then we have baby toothbrush and toothpaste there. And like I said, this is not a permanent solution. This is just until the entire bathroom comes together. But this just feels more open to me and allows for a little bit more storage. Welcome to the office. Um, this is our little, this little space exists in between the living room and the dining room. And so we have made it the office. Um, per usual, Sean has kind of taken over. Per office. usual? Because this is what you did at the, at the apartment in New York. You took over the office space and I had to sit at the dining table. You, you made, it's a video that says building Sean's desk. It says, area home work from home space and then, don't say sean and then the first thing you say was sean needs to work from i home was space. being polite and you ran with it you're not being polite and right now here it is again the office initially when we before we got here i said i wanted two desks sean's desk here and my desk here and he went on and on and on and on and on and on about how <laughs> That's not what both I said. can't fit. Yeah, yes. We happened? both can't fit there. We both can fit. So just, anyway, like, just like how you thought that the... This is, fit. this is, you're making it longer. So we moved the bookshelf in here from the dining room, I mean from the living room. Living room video coming soon. And so we need to style it. In addition to getting that bookshelf looking cute because he is having Zoom meetings and this is his background. The weirdly i don't know why they hung blinds on the outside of these windows the windows open and they hung blinds on the frame of the window it's stupid we're taking them down so i'm going to work on this bookshelf and sean's going to work on taking those down and patching those holes This is from Portrait Me. They contacted me on Instagram um, right as we were preparing to leave New York and asked me if I wanted a hand-painted portrait. And I said, oh, of course I do. And here it is. I'll make sure we insert a little picture, a close-up. Um, but all of these little things are hand-painted. Can you put more books up here? So of that, course, I'm not done. So that people think I'm smart. Let me show you how advanced I am when it comes to the literature, okay? Book one. Is this the vintage Native Son you talking about? Yeah. Native Son, Richard Wright. And we got James Baldwin, Giovanni's Room. Very coming of age. And then you got Iceberg Slim. So you ain't never read Iceberg Slim. I'm sure lots of people watching this have never read 
She don't know about the game. Oh, yeah. taught her about the game. You don't know about the game. <laughs> what am I gonna do with these jars? Like, what's the practical application? There isn't one. So you admit that they're just things. Yes, I freely admit that. You know what that spot is itching for? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Sean is sending sand, little sand boy. That feels racist. <laughs> Why would that feel racist? It feels condescending. Wow. While Sean's doing this, the Yeti is over there vacuuming. We've got it mapping the house, which we're going to definitely have to do with that again because we have boxes everywhere. But so far, we're pretty impressed. It's doing a very good job. It hasn't gotten stuck on anything. <laughs> it's just a touch of love. With just, with just a touch of love. Okay, windows, fresh, clean, sanded, and painted. That looks so much better without those blinds. And then here is our for now bookshelf. I am happy with it. I feel like I have some decor missing or just perhaps I felt like I had a lot when I lived in a smaller apartment and now that I have more space, I have not as much as I thought. Yeetie is still going, excuse me. There's paint thing on the floor that Cash was playing with. So yeah, bookshelf is done. Well, this is for Victoria's Secret. Is it? Yes. Oh. Angel. Then it fell off. Whatever. Anyway, Sean just fixed it. Yeah. So you push this down and this opens. That's how you empty it. So I was like, there's got to be. Technology <laughs> is way more advanced than putting your finger in there. Yeah. So that's how you empty that. Very easy, actually. And it just slides. Oh, sorry. It slides back in. Filter up. It's uh, very easily, huh? Oh, wait. There you go. I knew it was backwards. It slides back in, filter down. Okay, now we're going to insert the mop. This is how you change it over to mopping, and it comes with mopping heads. That are washable? They are washable and you get extras. Extras. Snap those on. Switch to vacuum and mopping mode. It's cash. <laughs> it's cash. Um, so I'm just going to go to the Yeedy app. And I'm just going to hit auto clean. And it should start. We are so impressed with this auto mop vacuum robot thing i'm so excited to have it the mapping feature was pretty accurate and it's very easy to edit you can even delete the map and have it do it again if you run into any issues the app is super intuitive and easy to use it gives you information on the longevity of the parts and pieces on the vacuum how often you should be cleaning them um, to make sure that they stay in top tip tip top shape um, in the mopping feature it cleans the mop heads every 10 minutes to make sure that you're working with as clean a mop as possible it collects the dirty water so it's easy to empty easy to give it new water it's just super easy it's a kind of set it and forget it situation and my favorite feature in the mopping is this carpet sensor because it won't mess up your carpets so thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one be sure to hit subscribe because we have a new makeover coming for you soon bye